Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Hello. Hello, good evening. I thought my audio wasn't good. It was not working, but I think it is, right? <laughs> Maybe you were not ready. Okay. It's, how is everybody doing? Hello, Suleyma. Welcome back. Hello, teacher. Hello, Danielle. Hello, Linda. I'm glad to see you. Hello, Linda. Hello, Giovanni. Edwin, thank you very much for Hello. being on time. Hello, Linda. Edwin, thank you very much for being on time. Giovanni. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Ana Delmi. Welcome back. Hello, Karina. Carlos Roberto, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you back. Okay, we're going to start tonight with taking the attendance, okay? Let me go there. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Ana Delmi Morales. Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Okay. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez Present Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present, teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present, teacher. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Okay, there we are. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Annie. How are you doing? Present. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. I see I see Kevin Antonio too, right? So let's see, Kevin. Please say present, Kevin. Thank you. Now let's see. Then we we are done with the list, with the attendance list. Okay, people, we're gonna start tonight uh, by making a little feedback, okay? We're gonna make a little feedback about yesterday. Thank you very much, everybody, for being on time. Let's remember that we have to attend to the 10% of the classes. Remember that you can pass the course if you take the 80%, right? If you have the 80% of attendance, 
then you are um, uh, then you pass. Mm. And now let me share the screen with you because the objective for this module, okay, we're gonna see the objective for this module. Okay, the objective for this module, guys, uh, is that we need to develop competencies that will allow us to describe features of products, describe processes about selling or buying online, know customers' opinions towards products they sell, and have conversations with others about financial activities. So it means that we need to achieve some vocabulary but also we are going to learn how to express that with the expressions we learn in modules one, two, and three. So we have to be constantly studying and checking our knots from the last courses, okay? From the last courses. Now, let's see, because and our objective, we have that we need to describe features, describe features of products. This is our unit one, remember? Unit one, how to buy, okay? How to describe the thing that we need to purchase. So we need to know the vocabulary of features. Features. Do you remember the features of a product? Do you remember the features of a product? Mm -hmm. What are features? Features are characteristics, right? Characteristics of a product. For example, some uh, people likes to buy clothes, right? Clothes. So we need to describe what kind of clothes these people want to buy. Uh, we need to know about the size. Remember? Size. Mm -hmm. Weight, what else? Price. Weight. Dimension. The prices. Okay, dimensions, yes, for other kind of products. Mm -hmm. So we need to express features, characteristics of the product we want to buy, okay? So this is unit one. Unit one has purchasing and storing. Remember, purchasing and storing. Let's see, Karina, what is purchase? I don't remember. Purchase? Okay. Mm. Let me no. let me get there, please. I'm going to stop sharing. Let me go there. Okay, here we have purchase. Remember, what is purchase? Purchase, 
has a sign on them. It is to buy, okay? To buy. It means to obtain or to acquire or to get or to grab something. Grab is in the movement, okay? Cuando hablamos de grab es una palabra que realmente no es comprar, okay? Grab es una palabra que se adapta porque, por ejemplo, you are driving on a street, right? And then, for example, you see, oh, Mr. Donuts right there. So I'm going to grab some donuts because I'm on the way, okay? I'm on the way, then I grab. It doesn't mean that I'm just going to pick them up or uh, take them, right? Take is like stealing, right? Take is like stealing. So grab is like stealing too. So uh, grab, in this case, it's adapted to buy, okay? To buy because you are on the way, okay? Because you are on the way, on the way. So you have to pay for the donuts, right? You have to pay for the donuts. But for example, uh, my husband calls me and I'm on the way and he says, oh, you are going to pass over um, maybe um, Don Pollo, right? So I'm going to grab some Don Pollo, right? For Chase, buy Don Pollo, right? Because I am on the way. So that's grab. This is the difference we didn't talk yesterday, but obtain, acquire, get, and grab means to purchase. What is to purchase? Let's see, Annie, can you please read the definitions for purchase? Uh, to get some type by paging for it. Thank you very much. Linda, can you please read the next one? To exchange money for goods or service. Services, okay. Great. So when we want to buy something, we need to ask, right? Amount, amount. The amounts are given by asking how many and how much. And we use how many when we can count the, those products and um, that noun is countable. And how much is when they noun is not countable, right? It's non-count. So let me uh, remind you something. Okay, this is just for feedback. This is just for feedback. Now let's go to the activity, okay, to the activity to complete this feedback. Let me get there. I'm going to show a video. Okay, I'm gonna share a video here. And you, I think you know this video, you have seen it. But uh, these are products that our companies usually buy, usually purchase, okay? These are products that we need for uh, operations in our offices. So let's watch the video. Just let me share that with you because you need just to, mm, some nouns, okay? Estos solo son nombres de um, office supplies, de cosas que usamos en la oficina, en nuestro trabajo. Y veamos si son contables o no son contables para ver y expresar how much and how many, okay? Solo déjeme ver por qué dice una cosa. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Let me let me do something because Sylvia is having problems to get connected. Mm 
I'm sorry, guys. I have a lot of screens open, windows open. I minimize them, but I can't get the invitation link. Can you please send the invitation link for the meeting in the WhatsApp group at this moment? Pueden enviar el link de la de la reunión. Tengo demasiadas abiertas y no me deja llegar a donde. Tengo miedo de que me pase lo mismo que ayer. Que me frise. ¿Alguien puede enviar el, el link? La invitación del link. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to. Thank you very much, Edwin. Okay, people, let's continue and let's watch the video. After the video, we are going to do the activity. We are going to the breakout rooms to um, talk about, okay? It's a little video. Paper, paper clip, markers, pen, pencil, portfolio, agenda, folder. Staples, stapler, tape, pencil sharpener, coffee, water, sugar, tea, milk. Okay, these are nouns of objects and of supplies that we usually buy or purchase in our company. So the question here is, what does your company purchase, right? What does your company purchase? Okay. What does your company purchase? Now, let me go to the activity. I'm going to uh, split the group in pairs, okay? And you are going to ask questions about the things that your company buy. What is the question? What does your company buy, right? Or what does your company purchase? So, um, I'm going to send at this very moment two slides, okay, to the WhatsApp group. For you to use them, okay, to have an idea of a conversation using how many, using how much, okay. Okay, there you have them. 
Now let's talk just a little bit about the video that you saw, okay? Does your company buy paper clips? Does your company buy paper clips? Juan Carlos, does your company buy paper clips? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Giovanni, too. And Juan Carlos. Okay, now the next question what will be how many, right? How many paper clips they buy, right? How many paper clips do they buy? So that will be the next question, right? Using do and that. Now, what are the specifications or what are the features of those paper clips? Do they use the big paper clips or do they use the mini paper clips? Remember sizes? So those are, or if they are buying those paper clips that are made of, uh, of, made of plastic or made of metal, right? So those are features. What dimensions do these paper clips ha have or what size do they use or what kind or what brand do they buy? Okay, this is what we are going to do in our, uh, I mean, in our rooms, okay? Con sus compañeros van a platicar de esa manera. Ahí les envié los dos slides como para una guía, okay? Uh, Pueden practicar la primera y la segunda de esa manera, ¿ok? Y luego hacer una tercera con un producto propio de su compañía, que su compañía compra, ¿ok? Remember, countable and non-countable. How much and how many. For example, sugar, uh, coffee, milk, tea. Um, yesterday, Carlos told us toner, ¿ok? Toner, ink right, for the printers, uh, paper is non-count, okay, so we can use those products. I'm going to break this room into rooms, okay? ¿Sí se entiende la actividad? ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question? Questions? No questions? Okay, let's start. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Puedo enviarlo de nuevo, es que me acabo de unir al grupo. Sure, no problem. I'll do it. Ana Delmi, Ana Delmi, recibió la invitación, recibió la invitación Ana Delmi. Carlos Roberto, ok, recibió la invitación, ok, there you are. Eh, 
es what does your company push? Y vamos a preguntarnos. This is an exercise teacher. Uh, the no. same product. No, no. Uh, I sent it through what the um, the chat and the WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Eso le estaba explicando que era lo que mandó por WhatsApp. Okay, there you have three questions or four questions, okay, depending on the product. Okay. Yes? Okay. Okay. That's your company. That's your company. Okay, I'm going to leave the room. Is it everything okay? Okay. Okay. Does your company, does your company uh, purchase uh, coffee? Yes. How many coffee do they buy? Uh, they buy, I don't know, how do you say libras, teacher? Pounds. Count, many pounds. Yes. Count. Okay, uh, Edwin, uh, in this case, can you count coffee? Coffee, yes. Is it countable? Uh, sobres. <laughs> oh, okay, then you need, uh -huh, you need a unit, right? You need a unit. So in, the, in that case, you have to say, how much coffee do they buy, right? How much, How much coffee do they buy? Okay. So Linda How much? can choose. Linda can choose the presentation they buy. For example, she can say um, they buy that three bags of coffee of a pound each, right? So, oh, they buy three bags of a pound of coffee, right? So something like that or she can say uh, they buy a box right with 50 envelopes or sachets right sachet <laughs> so also she can say um they buy a bottle right a bottle of instant coffee right <laughs> she can say the features as she wants but edwin has to ask how much coffee okay how much, how much coffee <clears throat> okay there you are Continue, guys. Um, okay. Um, what are she? Um, how much? Uh, My best advice is that you practice first the conversations I sent you. And then you have an, an idea, then you add your own information, okay? Okay. And... Or Linda, if what you are, want to start too. Uh, where are the, what are the future of the coffee they purchase? I see. Yes, good. What are the features? So she can say, for example, Linda, features are characteristics. For example, you can say ground coffee, right? Ground coffee or grain oh. coffee or instant coffee, okay? Or decaffeinated, decaffeinated <laughs> or yeah, something the that those are you. features describing the product that they use, right? Okay, uh, in the company purchase 
Is caffeine is not coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can say the calf, the calf, or the this. I uh, mean, decaffeinated, decaffeinated. decaffeinated. Okay. Yes, but it's more it's more common to say decaf. Okay. Decaffeinated. Okay. Um. What's the stress area for that teacher? What? Yeah. She, kin, how do you say kin? Kind. 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 Uh-huh. What, what is kind? kind? Tipo. What is, en, en español, ¿qué es, ¿qué es? Tipo o clase. Sí, ah, tipo. Ah, oh, okay. ok. Podría decir, what kind of coffee do they buy? Do they buy? Listo, va a decir. <laughs> Juan Valdez. Eh, Musun. Musun. Musun suave. Del suave, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Does, does your company purchase a microwave? Microwave. Microwaves. Microwaves. A microwave. 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 Mm. ¿Y qué es eso, teacher? <laughs> Microondas. Ah, así es. Ah, well. yes. Um, my, my, my company purchases microwaves. No. Okay. Bye, Marco. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to another room. Continue. Keep keep working. Okay. Okay, teacher. They buy this pack of coffee Same pack. Pack. Packages. Ah, packages. Packages. Hi. Teacher. Hello. Uh, Hello. I connect, I connect late. Oh yeah, tonight. I'm, I'm hurry to to. Oh okay. <laughs> Was it because of the traffic or the rain? Yeah. They they uh, asked us to have Eva. Okay. Uh, uh, today is the last day. Oh okay. 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 Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no problem. Okay. It's um we see your responsibility. Okay. Estamos con Wendy. How much coffee do they buy? Um, they buy two pack. They but you. Um, not packages, packages, or packages. Packages, packages. Packages. Mm -hmm. How often do they buy coffee in your company, Carlos Eduardo? Excuse me. How often do they buy coffee? Ah, once or twice to two months, roughly. Okay, okay. And how much do they pay for the coffee? Uh, they buy two packages the coffee a month. Two packages uh, uh, per month, okay. Per, per month. Mm -hmm. We could say on, on uh, also monthly, 
monthly. Two packages monthly. Monthly. Hello, Wendy. Wendy, hey, come on, Wendy. She got disconnected. I I thought she was having some trouble, right? Uh, no, no camera. This, this, she, she, no, this, her, she, she, she is? Uh, her computer. Oh, this, her computer. Her computer is so old. Uh, no camera. Oh, okay. So but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes she, uh, she connects from work. Okay. So she ah, says yes. that they are not, uh, I mean, uh, like in a hill or something, right? So it's, uh, um, they don't have a good sign, uh, signal of internet. They don't get good internet connection. Uh, but let me see. Maybe I can see her Secret. reconnecting. Not back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Leave me alone. I'm very sad. I think there she is. Let's see. No, Ana Cristina is there. So I'm going to bring her here. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just let me remember what. There we are. I think she's coming here. Carlos, I'm going to another group, so please tell uh, let me know if she gets connected, okay? Okay, okay. How many bottles? How many bottles water do they buy? Mm -hmm. En vez de okay, how Pero, many? Uh -huh. Ajá. Así preguntamos cuántas botellas de agua ya compran. Okay, how many bottles? Bottles of water. Bottles. Bottles. Okay. But remember that the bottles, in this case, they are like gallons, right? Gallons. Ah, okay. Gallons. Because bottle, we think it's uh, from a liter or half a liter, right? 600 mil milliliters, right? So those are kind of bottles, but these are gallons. Ah, gallons. gallons of water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. But remember that bottle, uh, we think a, a little one, right? Uh, in this case, because it comes in two, two gallons, right? Or one gallon, right? One gallon, then, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Y la otra. Pero la, re, la respuesta sería. Tu gallon. De. Um, they buy. They buy. Veinte, uh, twenty gallon. Ellos compran 20 galones. Galante. Ok. Y la otra es. Quiero ver. What skin of water do they buy? King of King. water. King. No sé qué significa King. Veamos. King. Oh. 
Pero es que... Mmm... What can hot water today at? Ya se fue la teacher. Yo no puedo ver si es continuo. Here I am. Ah, yes. Sí. Para ti, chica, estamos, estaba viendo el libro, a ver si, de, si hay la palabra aquí. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, because Ana Cristina wanted to get connected and because she got disconnected, so I was just checking that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I'm sorry. What is your question? Um, donde dice, what king of water? What king. kind? What kind Ay. of water? For example, the brand of the water they buy, for example, Cristal or, or Alpina, right? They oh. buy, yeah, it, you said gallons, right? Or you could say also um, just pure water, right? Pure, pure water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. la, la, la marca, prácticamente. For example, porque ahí uh -huh. usted puede decir todas las features o todas las características del producto, right? Describa, descríbalo, ok. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yeah. Okay. ok, girls, I'm going to another group, so keep working, ok? Ok, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay, people. We want to hear you now. Okay, so let's listen to Carlos Alberto, please, with your partner, uh, talking about the products that your companies buy. Okay. Okay, my partner is Carlos Roberto. Okay, Carlos Roberto. Uh, what does your company purchase? Uh, hello, my company buy paper supplies. Thank you. Uh, what type of uh, paper supply does your company purchase? Uh, maybe. Uh, Paper boxes, paper, okay. uh, ball paper. Okay, how many paper buy? Uh, uh, you, you were you were talking about paper. How many paper buy? Okay, paper is a non-count noun, so you have to say how much paper do they buy? Okay. How much of mm -hmm. so yeah, How much paper buy? Do they buy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we buy around of four hundred uh, package with a uh, five hundred units. Right. Monthly. Thank you. 
Okay, good, good. So in that case, uh, your company buys the papers by resins, right? By resins, they have 500 uh, sheets of paper, right? 500 sheets of paper in every package. And then you buy these resins in boxes, right, Carlos Roberto? Right, I think you understand. <laughs> okay, then, so you, you can say, um, uh, you said 400, 400 what, resins or boxes of resins? Resmas o cajas de resmas? Sí, yes. No, no, son resmas, alrededor de 400 resmas de 500 unidades. Oh, okay, then 400 resmas. Good, good, good. Okay, it's a lot of paper, right? It's a lot of paper. Good. Thank you very much, Carlos. <laughs> Both are Carlos, right? So, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a forest. Yes. You're right, Carlos Eduardo, you are right. Okay, now we want to hear Carlos Eduardo and your partner, please. Um, my partner is of your- Oh, internet. Ana Cristina, yeah. And and, um, yes. Oh yeah, I understand. Okay, uh, we are going to pass and then you are going to practice, okay? You are going to practice after. Now let's see Annie and your partner, please. What does your company buy? Annie dijo. Yes, I said Annie. Silvio. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Silvio. Uh, does your company purchase? Max. Max. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Masks. How ma oh, masks. Max. Yeah. How many do they buy? They buy 100 max for a month. What kind of max do they buy? They buy a KN95. Okay, good. The, good. That's the, nice. does, does your company push coffee? Yes, they do. Uh, how much coffee do they buy? They buy uh, five pounds uh, for a month. Only teacher. <laughs> okay, just remember that when we are talking about a period of, period of time, like answering how often, right? How often do they buy the product? Then you say per month, uh... per month, not for a month. Per month, or you can say monthly. Right? Monthly. Ah, uh, monthly. monthly. Mensual. Yeah. Monthly. Mensual, monthly. Okay. Yes, or per month, right? Per month. Okay. Per month. Thank you. Okay, there you are. So now let's see Karina. Karina and your partner. Yes. Uh, Kevin, I guess. <laughs> okay, Kevin. Yes. <laughs> Um, does your company purchase paper? Yes, do you read paper? Do you read paper? Um, how much paper do, you, do they buy? It is the wrong cost three five. Thirty five, um, thirty five what? Oh. I'm trying three, to get it. Three five. He's, um, he say three fifty dollars. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then uh, that's the amount of money. So the price. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. Okay. But um, how much reams of paper do they buy? Sorry. How much reams of paper do they buy? The uh, row cost uh, 
35 rams, rams, uh, uh, rams of paper? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, what are the features of the paper they purchase? Uh, yes, buy five gallons. Um, uh, the water purified every day. Purified, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, three gallons every day. Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you very much, guys. Now let's listen to Nancy and her partner. Hello, teacher. Hello, Nancy. And Giovanni. There you are, Giovanni. Okay. Oh. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Does your company purchase printer? Yes, they do. Yes, they? Does. No, they do. They do. Yes. If you say the name of your company, then you say does. Okay. Pero eso fue algo, eh, es algo eh, que a veces nos confunde un poquito porque preguntamos en singular. Okay. Pero cuando respondemos, nos incluimos o hablamos de ellos, ¿verdad? Podríamos decir, we buy, entonces ya es un plural la respuesta, ¿ok? Entonces, they do, ¿ok? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Ok. And number two, how many printers do they buy? They buy one printer for any department. One printer? For any department. For each department. Mm -hmm. Each. Okay. Uh, is each. one for each department. Oh, good. Oh. One for each department. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number three. Um, what are the future of the printer they purchase? What are the features? Features. Features. Mm -hmm. Okay. They purchase. This printer prints laser. Okay, laser printers. A scan. Make copies are due. Finish. Okay, thank you very much, guys. You did a good job. You did a good, good job. So let's uh, stop here the practice, okay? Esa era una práctica nada más para hacer como un uh, recuento o un volver a lo que nos quedó, ¿verdad? Porque nos quedó la práctica de ayer. Uh, y haciendo pues el feedback, okay? Porque la videoconferencia de ahora El tema or the topic is have to for obligations. This is our new topic, have to for obligations. Now let's start by giving a little brief or I mean a brief um, explanation and just recalling have to, the verb have, okay? In this case, we are not talking about possession. Ahorita no vamos a hablar de posesión, ¿verdad? Como have, tener, no. Vamos a hacer como have, tener que, okay? An obligation, okay? This is the way to express, like to do lists, right? This is the way to express obligations of each people in our company, right? For example, the responsibilities they have to, they have to do, right? I'm sorry, this is not, this is not, this is not. This way, I practice this way of sharing uh, today. 
uh, but I see it's not so practical for me yet. Again, the same thing. There you are. Okay, have to for obligations. So it means that today we are going to talk about storing, okay? Storing. ¿Qué significa storing? What does storing mean? ¿Tienen alguna idea? Storing. Storing is to put the things in a place to keep them, right? To reserve them, to retain them before it goes to this, um, uh, the uh, display store, okay? Before it goes to the display store, it stays in warehouses, okay? Cuando, por ejemplo, ustedes ponen sus productos a que estén en reserva, que estén guardados, sus stocks, okay? That's storing, storing. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Store. What is the action? Store. Okay, remember purchasing and storing. So let me get to the video conference number two. Okay, and just let remember, let's remember this little, I'm sorry. Oops, I'm going backwards. No, I'm not going backwards. Come, come. Okay, have to for obligations and our objective as, uh, of this topic is that you have to create a conversation uh, where you use have and has to in a buzz or a new employee environment using the target grammar and vocabulary correctly. So it means that we are going to uh, learn how to express the obligations for a new employee in our company, okay? This is the agenda for this video conference. We did our feedback conversation. We talked about the general and the class objective. And now we are going to the short briefing about have, for, have to for obligations, okay? Then we are going to have some written activities and we are going back to the breakout rooms to finish, okay? This is video conference number two. What date is it today, guys? What date is it today? Today, 20. Uh-huh. Today is? August 20. Okay, great. August the 20th. Okay. August the 28th. 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 Okay. 20th. So we say 20th. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Then just let remember the conjugation of this verb. And let's remember it has two forms. It has two forms. In this case, we have for I, you, 
we and they, you see I, you, we and they, we use the form have to. Cuando va así acompañado, okay, have to, it's for expressing obligations, okay? Responsibilities. So for in this, for example, in this case, we are going to complete the sentence in this way. I have to check the inventory, okay? I have to check the inventory. I have to check the inventory, okay? You, you have to store the vegetables in the refrigerator, okay? You have to store the vegetables in the refrigerator. We, Pluto, right? Have to, uh, here it has, uh, this is something that, okay. Obviemos este tú que está aquí, okay, porque ya lo tenemos acá, right? We have to load the products in the container tonight. We have to load the products in the container tonight. They, they have to pile the boxes in the warehouse. Pile the boxes in the warehouse. So now let's see, Giovanni Ramirez, please. The first, armeme la primer. I have to check, check the inventory. Thank you very much. Let's see, Daniel Pineda. I'm sorry, no, it's not Daniel Pineda, it's Giovanni Pineda, I'm sorry. Giovanni Pineda, okay. I know you are there. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. Okay. You. Uh, uh, to load the product in the container tonight. Okay, so you. Start, start, Giovanni. You. You. Have to. Uh, you have to. Load the products. Load the product. In the container tonight, okay. Okay, in the container tonight. Yes. Aquí estamos armando las oraciones, okay? Estamos armando las oraciones. Vamos a ver. Let's look at this. Nancy, please. We. We, we have to look the product in the container tonight. Great. Now, let's see. Daniel Orellana, please. Teacher. Yes, tell me. The attendance list. Thank you very much. Daniel, saved by the bell. Okay. <laughs> now, let me, let me take the attendance. Yes. In this very moment. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Yes, okay, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana del Mi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. 
Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrigo. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Oh, thank you very much and thank God you are here, Wendy. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. I'm going to share the screen in a different way because I have to um, do a lot of things to get that way. Okay, so let me get here. So we were talking about how to and how to. Okay, here we go. So this, for these pronouns, we use have to, plural and I, okay? Plural, you and I in singular. So have to. Now let's see in this case, what's the form for she, he, it? Okay, so let's see, she, the form has to, and then the complement, okay? This is expressing obligation. So she has to send the forms to customs. He has to make an inventory of the new stock. It has to follow the manufacturer's instructions to storage, okay? Or for example, it has to feet in the box, okay? He has to follow the manufacturer instructions to storage. She has to follow the manufacturer's instructions to storage, so on, okay? And so on. So these are uh, the two forms for the verb have to, I mean, for the verb have, when we express obligations, we use have to and has to. Now, what is the negative way? Now, what is the negative way? ¿Cómo sería que no es responsabilidad de ellos o no es obligación de ellos? Vamos a ver en este primero. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es lo que utilizamos para decir no en el presente? Don't. 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 ¿Ok? We use don't. Yeah. There you are don't have. So I don't have to check the inventory. You don't have. We don't have to. Okay. Remember the two, it's a particle that it goes together uh, when we are expressions uh, expressing obligations. So we say they don't have to pile the boxes in the warehouse, for example. Okay, this is the negative way. Now let's see the negative way for the third person. What is the negative way for the third person? What is the negative way? Do you remember? Doesn't. That's, okay. Y aquí sí, en la parte negativa sí cambia. ¿Cómo? Ah, regresamos a have. Okay. For example, we say she doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. So let's complete the sentence. She doesn't have to send the forms to customs. Okay. Why, teacher? Excuse me? Por qué, teacher? Why what? Uh, me perdí en, en, en cuál de las tres partes me dijo por qué. No, por, uh, porque vuelve a have to. Ah, porque el does ya nos hace la tercera persona. Entonces no podemos decir does and has, 
Ok, porque ya sería una doble tercera persona gramaticalmente. Entonces, tenemos que regresar a la forma base del verbo. Ok, entonces, doesn't nos está haciendo la tercera persona y utilizamos la forma base para eh, el verbo. Ok, doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Pero en la forma... Eh, eh, positiva es has to, ok? En la positive form es has to. En la negative form es doesn't have to. Correct? Hoy sí, Giovanni. Yes, teacher. Ok. So, what is the way to ask? ¿Cómo sería la forma de preguntar la obligación que alguien tiene? ¿Cuál sería la forma? A ver, recordemos la forma de las preguntas en el presente simple. Lo vamos a hacer acá, vamos a meter un cuadrito de texto. Ok. Recordemos. Recordemos que, la voy a escribir así. Ok, utilizamos do para los pronombres I, you, we, and they, ¿verdad? Y utilizamos das para he, she, and it. Ok, entonces, vamos a hacer la pregunta, por ejemplo, en este caso, si ella tiene la obligación de enviar los formularios a aduana, ¿ok? ¿Cuál utilizaríamos? Do or does? Does she, does she, okay. does she have? Does she have to send the, pro, the forms to customs? Thank you very much. To customs. Okay, I'm going to put this a little up. There you go. Okay, ahora, preguntemos... For example, if you have that obligation. Entonces pre preguntaríamos con do, ¿verdad? Do you have to send the forms to customs? Ok, recordemos que sin el question mark no es pregunta, ¿ok? Así que siempre, if you are asking for something or making a question, write the question mark, okay? So this is the way to ask, okay? This is the way to ask about the obligation they have to do something, okay? People, you or your associates, you or your boss, have obligations, right? So in this case, if you and your boss are going to do something together, then you're going to use the plural, right? Because you are talking about of more than one person. So you use plural. So remember, plural or singular. So in this case, plural, do. Singular, does. Singular and the third person. El singular, pero de la tercera persona. Ok, aquí es singular, pero de la segunda persona, ok, que sería you, tú. Correcto. Do you have any question at, uh, so far? Do you have any question so far? Questions? This was just to check, ok, because we already know it, but let's, let's continue with this. Um, thing and let's go to the manual. Okay. Vamos a recordar nada más how many, how much, y luego continuamos con el have to and has to. Okay. Vamos, let's go to page number 10. Page number 10.
Okay. Page number 10, how much or how many? Okay. Complete the following questions using how much or how many? Complete the following questions using how much or how many? So number one, what are we talking about here? A countable or a non-countable noun? So in this case, we are talking about pieces, right? Pieces. Pieces. Countable. Correct. So we are going how to many? use... How many? Okay, great. There you go. Mm -hmm. How many pieces? Okay. How many pieces do I need to assemble this? Number two. How much? How much? Correct, because we are talking about the price, right? Always the price is how much? How much do these books cost? We are talking about money, right? Money. Number three. How much? How much? Okay, how much? Mm -hmm. There you go. Number four. How many? Okay. How many what? Hours. Hours do I charge it? Okay, number five. How much? Okay. And what is missing here? Hmm? How many? This is missing, okay? The question mark, remember. How much money do you have? Okay. Now let's see, gallons of water. How many? Okay, yeah. If we don't have a um, quantifier, in this case is gallons, right? If we don't have that, then it will be how much because we are talking only about the liquid, right? So in this case, how many gallons of water does this need? Correct? Any question about this? Question, guys? No. Thank you. Okay, let's continue to page 11, okay? In page 11, we have a little conversation, okay? And this conversation we have has to and have to in action, okay? In action, how do we use has to and have to for obligations or giving directions how to do something, okay? So we have Aaron and Sam and they are talking about doing something or some obligations. So let's read it. It says, the new material just arrived. <coughs> it wasn't here. <laughs> I got scared. What happened? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do, okay? I'm going to give you uh, 30 seconds or one minute. Please read the conversation. Everyone reading the conversation. Todos leyendo la conversación.
Okay, do you have any question about the vocabulary in the conversation? Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, pronunciation, eh, lift, 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 <laughs> con, lift, con, con T al final. Lit. Yes, lit. 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 Uh -huh. thank you, thank you. Okay, there you are. What is lift? Uh, la montacarga. Thank you. Okay. Okay, now we want to listen to Kevin, Antonio, and uh, Anna Cristina, please. Um, <clears throat> the new material used to read in the morning tell us that, they, that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan had to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use it to leave? Um, they had to use the leaf, leaf, but acts and the tell the secretary first. Take to the and use, use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Thank you very much. Now we want to listen to Carlos Roberto and Suleima, please. Okay. ¿Con quién voy, teacher? With Carlos Roberto. Oh, who I am, teacher? With Suleyma. Okay. Can I start? Yes, you, you may. Yes, go ahead. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan had to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but they are money boxes. Can they use the lifts? They lift. have to use the lifts. Lift. Sorry. No problem. They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it, then my going to the max and even what they has to do. Great, great. Okay. Thank great. you, Carlos. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So now, remember that when we are reading, guys, uh, it doesn't matter, okay, at the beginning because you are practicing and you are learning. Maybe you don't know the pronunciation of one word, okay? Please don't stop. Don't stop, continue, continue. And then we're going to tell you what's the correct pronunciation about that word, okay? To maintain the flow, okay? To maintain the flow. So in this case, for example, there are some words, words that have uh, like a pronunciation, uh, confusing, right? Confusing. It's not that it doesn't matter if you say lift, because left is another thing, okay? Left is the past tense of leave. So we say lift, lift is like, uh, 
e, uh, e, right? Something like that, an e or an i together. So lift, 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 okay? Lift. Thank you, teacher. There you go, Suleyma. Secretary, okay, secretary, secretary. Normalmente decimos secretary, okay? Pero el strong voice or the strong voice in is in cray, cray, right? Secretary, yeah, there you go. Um, now let's see. What I want you to notice, what I want you to notice is that when we talk about two different person together, we use have to. For example, he and Ivan have to. No vamos a decir he and Ivan has to. Se tiende a confundir porque tenemos a Ivan aquí, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos que unir los dos como un plural. He and Ivan have to store them, okay? Um, and the questions, remember that we use does and have to. Remember, that's very important. Where does he have to store the boxes? Okay. Now, Max, that he has to store everything. They have to do, okay? They have to use the lift. If you see plural, singular, and third person. So let's go to the activity. In the, uh, this is like fair work, okay? But let's read and let's do it together. Max and Ivan have to or has to? Have to or has to store boxes? Have to. Uh huh. So, someone said something. Annie, did you say something? Have to. Have to, yeah, because we are talking about two different person or two different, uh, and then they are together. So we use have to store the boxes. Okay, number two, Linda, please. I don't, does, no, I don't have to tell store the boxes. Okay, let's go to the reading. Let's go to the reading. Who is Aaron? Who is Aaron? Aaron is kind of the boss, right? Aaron is kind of the boss. Does he have to help or doesn't he have to help? I mean, he has to or he doesn't have to help? Aaron. He doesn't. Okay, because Ivan and Max are, right? Ivan and Max are the ones who have to. Okay, so Aaron doesn't have to help store the boxes. Este ya no es, este question mark no va acá, okay? The question mark, no buy. Number three. Number three, who wants to read it? Carlos Alberto, do you want to read it? Sam doesn't have to. Okay. Doesn't have to, remember? Doesn't and have. Sam doesn't have to help okay number four number four who wants to read it wendy do you want to read it The secretary has to, has to say that they can use the lift. Okay, the secretary has to. Correct. There you go. So let's go to the next page, guys. Let's go to the next page. It's page 12. 
okay? And let's remember, when do we use have? And when do we use has to, okay? So, uh, Edwin, please read the first one. Okay. I have to store this package. Packages. packages. These packages. These packages. Okay, packages. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, Kevin, please. They have to take everything to the warehouse. Okay. Uh, the next one, please, Daniel Orellana. Daniel, are you there? Daniel, okay. Daniel, are you there? Okay, please then, Carlos Eduardo. Read number three here. We have to ask for permission. Okay, that's an obligation. We have to ask for permission. Uh, Ana, Cristina, please. Next one. The truck driver has to bring the material. The material, okay. Yeah. Material. Material. Good. Nancy, please. To use to the, the lift. Hello. Okay, yeah, we can barely hear you. He has to use the lift. Okay, now let's see the negative form. Okay, the negative form. Giovanni Ramirez and Giovanni Pineda next. Okay, Giovanni Ramirez, please. I don't have to start this. Packages. 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 Uh -huh. Packages. Packages. Okay. Giovanni Pineda, please. They don't have to take everything to the warehouse. Okay. Next one. Annie, please. We don't to take. Eh, perdón. We don't. Have to ask for permission. Okay, thank you very much. Sylvia, please. Next one. The truck's driver doesn't have to bring the material. Okay, is that correct or is it incorrect? Is this correct or is it Inco incorrect? Incorrect. The incorrect. auxiliary and have. Okay, I think you are slipping, guys. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, guys, please. Thank you very much, Sylvia. So what is the correct way to say that? Karina, please. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What about the next one? ¿Qué piensan de la última? What do you think about the next one? Incorrect. The same. Is it correct or is it incorrect? Incorrect. It is incorrect. Why? Doesn't have to. Correct. He doesn't have to use the lift. Okay. There you are. So now we are going to continue with this. Okay. And here we go. Let's complete the following sentences using the correct form of have to and the words provided. We have a verb and we have a complement in this case, right? So 
we are going to use the correct form, okay, of have to in companion with the verb, and then we are going to complete the sentence. So let's remember the company. Is it, in this case, is it singular or is it plural? The company. Singular. Singular, right? And it means eat, right? So the company has to or have to? Have to. The company? Has to. Has, okay? The company has to. Has to what? Has to? Buy. Buy. We could new say new material or the new material, okay? New material is okay, the new material is okay too. So the company, let me do the annotation has here. To, the company has to, mm -hmm. has to buy new material. Material, okay? Material. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see, who wants to do the next one? Plural. Who wants to do the next one? Juan Carlos, do you want to do it? Number two? Uh, have to. Okay, can you say the complete sentence, please? Your partners have to fill up containers. Pile up, okay? Pile up containers, okay? Mm -hmm. Number three, who wants to do it? Number three. The agents doesn't have to sing the letter. Okay, because it's negative, it says not sign. Okay, so doesn't, I'm sorry, don't, don't. Mm -hmm. Because the agents, uh -huh. agents plural, don't have to sign the letter. Okay, Mr. Bonilla, design. New models. Who wants to do it? Has to. Okay, can you say the complete sentence, please? <coughs> the complete sentence, can you say it? Mr. Bonilla? Juan Carlos? Okay. New models. To design uh -huh. new models. There you are. Okay. The group. Uh -huh. Here we have something, right? The group. Group. A singular or is it plural? Mm -hmm. Aquí lo tomamos. Uh -huh. Singular. Okay, the noun, it's with different people together, okay? But the noun group is a collective noun, so we use is, right? The group. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Doesn't work out Thank till you. late. Okay. The group don't work until late. In some context, it's going to sound correct in some context. But in this context, it's okay because we are using uh, the first concept of the singular. Okay. Now, let's see. Do you have any question at the moment? Questions? Can you use uh, have in these uh, sentences? Yes, I me la comí. 
Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Let me go there. Doesn't have to work. Doesn't have, have <clears> to <throat> work. Have to work. Thank you very much. Hey, guys. Okay, so do you have any other question about this um, thing? Questions? No question. No question. Okay, we're going to the breakout rooms, okay? And we're going to um, practice the conversation above, okay? This conversation above. Okay. We're going to practice this conversation. Okay. And okay. please, you can say your own names or names from people in the class. Okay. Use names of people in the class instead of saying Max and Ivan let's use your own name so for example uh van a estar en pareja verdad entonces ustedes van a practicarlo con nombres de las personas de la clase okay ahí ustedes decidan a quién meten verdad para que les ayude a ir a pilar las cajas okay vamos a ver si ¿Sí se entiende Okay, there we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Only only five minutes. Okay. Only five minutes. I was gonna say two five like this, right? Five. No, not five. <laughs> five. Did you see that? Oh my god. Uh, I'm trying to pull my thing here. Oh my god. Mm. I think you are going to uh, get with the, with the same with the same partner. So now let's see. Carlos Eduardo. Ana Cristina. Yes. Hello. 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 Wendy, are you there? Yes. Okay, yes. now let's see. Kevin, okay. Antonio, are you there? Wendy? She got disconnected. Kevin? He got disconnected too, and then Christina. And today, okay, this is their turn. <laughs> today is their turn. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. yes I, I see. And let's see. Uh, 
Ana Cristina. Sí. Mire abajo en la barra de menú. Si le aparece algo en anaranjado o un flash para pasar a la sala. No. De un clic en, en, en su pantalla. No. Debería de aparecerle que se va para la sala U. Ok, la voy a mandar a sala 2. Ok. Ahí sí. Okay. Bueno, esa es la conversación que vamos a practicar, la que le acabo de mandar al okay. WhatsApp. Ok, ya ahorita ya la tengo. Bye. Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿qué sería A o B? A. Bye. Ah, pues yo, yo soy B. Hello, Yomi, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, it have a list of activities you have to do. First, you have to. Okay, where do I have to? In the y aquí que le vamos a aumentar algo. Ahí le tendríamos que poner. Ajá. Nuestros sí. roles, dice. No, you have to do, I mean, you have to say names of your classmates. Nombres de alguien de la clase. Ok. Ok. Entonces sería como a uh, in the in the in the hello in the y puede ser de nosotras dos. No. Pues como no, a... ustedes van a usar sus nombres y también van a usar no, el nombre de alguien más, ¿verdad? Porque hay una tercera persona ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Uh -huh. Yo digo que in... In the... In Manuel. The... Money. Girls, me voy a otro salón ahorita. Este, please continue working. Okay. 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 There you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lip? They have to use the lip, but ask in the secretary first. She is going to say they can use, use it. Then I am going to tell Carlos and, and Giovanni what they have to do. Okay, creo que ya nos hablaron. 
No. Uh, Not yet. I'm I'm in your room. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. But beginning. Uh, high beginning. The new mat material just arrived in the morning. Tell Carlos uh, that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Giovanni uh, have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lid? They have to use the lift, but ask the tell them secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Carlos and Giovanni what they have to do. Okay. Only. En el micrófono apagado, teacher. Mute. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think everyone here is like this, right? <laughs> Maybe because it is Friday. <laughs> uh huh. And well, uh, in these days we cannot go out, right? On Fridays. <laughs> and more than all, it's raining. Overall, it's raining. It's so, coffee. <laughs> yeah, coffee, coffee. Coffee. So, okay, guys, continue break. continue practicing, and then um, I'm going to um, then I'm going to well, right now I'm going to another room. Please continue. Please continue. Okay. okay. Ana Cristina. Okay, everyone. Now let's listen to. Sorry. Let's listen to Juan Carlos and his partner. Okay. Carlos Eduardo. Mm. Hello. You start. Okay. Uh, the, the new material just arrived in the morning. They max that they has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? They have to use the leaf, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. 
Okay, thank you very much, guys. Uh, the thing is that we uh, should replace, right? Substitute the names for people in the class. So now let's listen to Annie. <laughs> Permítame que no tengo, no, yo no la tengo a la mano. And Ana Cristina, right? Cristina, right? Yes. The new material just arrived in the morning. The Max that has he has to store every day. Si quiere con Silvio, porque yo no lo encuentro. <laughs> oh, Annie, come on. <laughs> es que no encuentro la captura. Okay. No encuentro let's la, la conversación. Okay, let's open it up. Uh, we are almost off the clock, but we are going to do it. Okay, just give me one second. Okay, here we go. Remember that Thank we have you. to replace, right? We have to substitute the names. Okay. Okay. Vaya, ya inició ella, ¿verdad? Yo continúo. Yes. Where does he have to store the boxes? Christy. He and Giovanni have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, back there are many boxes. Can they use the lid? They have to use the leaf but as and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. They then I'm going to tell Carlos and Giovanni what they have to do. Okay, thank you very much. Now Suleima, please. Thank you, teach. Okay, Carla. The new material used right in the morning, the Maluma does, he does to store every day? Everything. When does he <laughs> have to store the boxes? He, as Romeo, has to store the in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the list? They have to use it, the leaf bus as has and the secretary fears. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max, uh, Maluma and Romeo what they have to do. Okay, good. So new classmates. Good. <laughs> nice. Linda, please. And then we finish, Linda, Linda. Okay, with Edwin. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell, Anne, uh, tell Anna that she has to store everything. Where does he ha she has to store the box? Ana and Suleima have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it, then I am going to tell Ana and Suleima when they have to to do what they have to do okay tough girls right using the lift and everything like that okay good 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 <laughs> tough girls okay bueno vamos entonces a ir finalizando eh, solamente quiero compartir con ustedes las fechas que les tocará la sesión uno a uno okay uh, en este caso Ana del Carmen uh, le toca el día de hoy, ¿ok? 20 de agosto. Ana del Mi le tocaría el 23 de agosto. Please take note. Ana del Mi el 23. Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. Now, um, 
Carlos Alberto, le toca el 24, martes. Ok. Carlos Eduardo, uh, en este caso Ana Cristina Chavarría, porque ya Carlos ya pasó. Entonces va Ana Cristina el miércoles 25. Ok. Luego seguiría Carlos Roberto García el 26, jueves 26. Daniel Enrique le toca el 27 de agosto. Edwin Eliseo 27. le toca, sí, el 27, es viernes. Edwin le toca el Daniel lunes Enrique. 30. Sí, Daniel Enrique, viernes 27 de agosto. Edwin Eliseo, lunes 30. Giovanni Alexander le tocaría el 31, que es martes. Uh, bueno, sería Pineda primero y luego sería Giovanni Ramírez el miércoles 1 de septiembre. Juan Carlos Palacios le tocaría el jueves 2. Ok. Y a Karina le tocaría el viernes 3. Karina Noemi. A Carla Verónica le tocaría el 6. Kevin seguiría el martes 7. Linda Stephanie le tocaría el miércoles 8. Nancy el 9. Silvio el 10. Luego Zuleima el lunes 13. Wendy le tocaría el martes 14. Y tendríamos el 16. ¿Verdad? El, el 16 quedaría para uh, alguien más. En todo caso, tenemos a Ana Cristina o a Carlos, a Carlos Eduardo, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de los dos, que serían los dos primeros, ¿no? ¿Ok? Ok. Hey. Thank you, teacher. Ok, guys. So, Ana del Carmen, are you going to stay with me? teacher yes teacher okay then everybody have a good night and let us meet on monday have a good weekend hey teacher thank you yes. thank you teacher hey please don't go oh. <laughs> don't leave don't leave didn't i take the attendance i think i took the attendance no Ah, uh, no, Very I said nice. all your names. I said all your names in, the, in this thing. Oh, my God. This girl, <laughs> this girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ustedes sí que de plano me van a jalar las orejas hoy. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Okay. Sería Ana. Ah, oh, perdón. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ok. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Divas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Car ok. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Y we finish. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Wendy. I checked you in, okay? Okay, everybody now have a good weekend and God bless you all, okay? Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Annie, here we are. Do you have any question?
<laughs> How much no <laughs> Most questions. No. How many questions do you have? <laughs> How many questions? How many? Yeah, because you can count the questions, right? In the questionnaire. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, me. Tell me, tell me. Vamos a ver. Bueno, sí, sí, lo entendí lo que explicó de. Pero quería, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. El das, cuando se pone el das, eh, ya lo convierto a have to, ¿verdad? Eso es Exactly, explicó, ¿verdad? exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Cuando It's se pone, se va al negativo. Correct. Se va al negativo. En negative form, we use a doesn't have to. Uh -huh. Have to. Uh -huh. Lo que me cuesta a veces es porque no sé muchas palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí es donde me. O sea, no, 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 no entiendo a veces porque son muchas palabras que no las conozco. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, For example, eh, extor extor storage, storage is uh, the place where you keep the things, like in the warehouse, okay? Guardar, almacenar, okay? Y, y storage. Y grab, se recuerda ah, que... Grab. Uh -huh. Ajá, eh, grab. Lo que les estaba contando yo es, por ejemplo, usted va en el camino. Es una palabra que ahora se usa como, o se usa como adaptada para pasar a comprar, ¿ok? En el camino, ¿ok? Entonces uh -huh. uno dice, pasa ahí rapidito, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Anda a comprar. Nosotros no decimos normalmente, o decimos trae, ¿verdad? Pero sí, no decimos sí. a veces ve a hacer la compra, like purchase, right? Entonces, uh -huh. grab es como más común, más coloquial para, por ejemplo, su esposo le llama y le dice, hey, vas a traer tal cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, go and grab something. Uh -huh. Grab. Uh -huh. Ah, no, ok. Uh, uh -huh. Grab, agarrar. Porque en el sentido literal, grab es agarrar algo. Yeah. Sí, porque a veces cuando me pongo como a eh, averiguar qué significan las palabras, me salen otros Significado. significados. Ajá, sí, entonces ajá. me quedo. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que? Ah, ya, ya voy men, más o menos eh, con las otras palabras entendiendo qué es, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ahora hice un gran listado en la oficina de, la, de lo que mandó. Y de algunas palabras que no sabía qué era. Y lo dejo en la oficina. <risa> y ahora, ¿qué, yeah, ¿dónde estoy? Happens. Además de buscarlo. Y, ay, hubiera contestado todo lo que me preguntaba. <risa> Yeah. <laughs> y, y, sí, porque me puse, me puse a averiguar varias palabras que... I'm sorry, del, Andy. <laughs> de lo que usted mandó, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, y, uh -huh. y porque dije yo, voy a, voy a, aunque sea un ratito, voy a practicar, dije yo, yeah. porque todavía estaba en la oficina porque había mucho congestionamiento y por oh, la lluvia. Ok, ok. Y sí, sí, cabal, cuando usted empezó la clase y, y pasó lista, yo acababa de entrar. Oh. Okay. No me podía. Yeah, bueno. but I see your responsibility. You are very responsible. Yes, I can tell sí. that. I can tell sí. that. Yes. Sí, eh, okay. eh, decía usted también que eh, son obligaciones. Es lo que vimos ahora, vea. Yes, obligation. obligation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, I have to check the inventory. Yo tengo que chequear yes. el inventario. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y cuando es en plural, uh -huh. usamos you have, we you have, have they have to. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. have to. Y luego va eh, eh, en, en plural lo que vamos a hacer. Va products, por ejemplo, products. O sea, vegetables, no lo puedo pronunciar. Vegetables. No es necesario vegetables. que en el complemento usted tenga un plural. Ah, lo, no es necesario. No, ah, ahí en lo que okay. yo hablaba de plural, me refiero al eh, sujeto. Ah, okay, okay. El sujeto en este caso es they and we, many people, right? We, me mm. incluyo. They, 
people that I'm not included in that group, right? Mm -hmm. So they have to, we have to, okay? Mm, okay, okay. Eh, también estaba, estaba viendo que más le iba a preguntar de lo que envió, sé, que lo tenía anotado todo. <laughs> Todo se me perdí, lo dejé. Ah, cuando, cuando estaba viendo que en how, el how se utiliza eh, para varias cosas, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué? Sí. Um, no. How, la palabra how. How. Dependiendo de cómo esté construida la frase. Uh -huh, Por ejemplo, uh -huh. puede ser how long, cuánto tiempo, ¿verdad? How long, ajá, how con long. lo que usted mandó. Uh -huh. Exacto, o puede ser how much, construida la frase how and much, ¿ok? Juntos hacen el significado cuánto, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Unido, how many, cuántos. Ok. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. How much es una, es cuánto en, en singular. Yes. How many, cuántos. Yes. En plural. It, uh, yes. Cuánto en cuánta. For example, we say how much sugar do you want in your mm -hmm. coffee? Right? Cuánta azúcar, right? How mm -hmm. much sugar do you want in your coffee? Oh, or, how uh -huh. spoon sugar. Uh, pero coffee. esas ya las puede contar porque ya dice. Ah, spoons. ok, ok. okay. How okay. many spoons of sugar? Ahí sí contamos. How many. Uh -huh. Ahí how sería much cuántas. Solo... Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. how, how much. How much sugar. Sugar. Sin un cuantificador, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, ok. Solo okay. El, el, la sustancia. Okay. Sí, sí. How much sugar do you want in your coffee? How many spoons of sugar do you want in your coffee? Okay. 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 Sí. Mm -hmm. Sí. A veces eso me confunde un poquitito el much y el many. Yes. Pero sí es cuan, cuando cuantifico es how many. Cuando ya pongo cantidades. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bueno, ahí voy aprendiendo, teacher, poquito a poco. Good. You are doing a good job because you study, you practice, then you are in a good, uh, I mean, you are on the way. Yeah. Yes. You are getting it. You are getting it. Yes. Don't worry. Yes. 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 Continue doing what you are doing and it will be okay. Okay. It will be sí. a success. Okay, Annie. Only teacher. Y gusto de verla. Oh, for me too. It's a pleasure to see you. Yes. So please have a good weekend. Uh, and please keep safe. Okay. Thank you. Keep safe and God bless you and have a good weekend. Good night. Good okay, night. Good night. Teacher.